You see promised land, they keep repeating promised land, promised land, Palestine, Canaan. You have to understand the terminology Canaan because this is going to be used in the Bible. Canaan was the son of Ham. Noah was having three children, Ham, Sham, Yafis. Sham comes Semites, Jews and Christians and Muslims, Semitic religions. Then another Ham, Sham, Yafis. But you have to understand, if you read Genesis chapter 9, chapter 9 verse 20, where God cursed Canaan, who was this Canaan? Canaan was this children, one of the sons of Ham. Ham was the son of Noah, alayhi salam, Noah. And Ham was having four children, Kut, Put, Mizraim, and Canaan. Sorry, Kut, Push, Mizraim, and Canaan. Canaan was his fourth child. And Canaan was the place where today we call it the Levant, where the southern part will hit it to Israel today and Palestine. If you see the map, search the Levant, L-E-V-A-N-T, you will see the map in the old days and now the currently Palestine and Israel is located in some part of Egypt or some part of maybe Jordan, etc. Goliath, Golan Heights. So this is clear too. Canaan, whenever referred in the Bible, it is me, it means Palestine because those days Palestine was not the name. So this is the terminology which was very important before I go into forward uh, steps. Political point of view again broke the truce. I would like to say, pay regards to our foreign minister of Pakistan and trust me, he won my heart. You see, I'm not a political guy. I'm not a supporter of any party. But when somebody says something which really touches my heart, I have to say, I have to appreciate and give a token of respect. You see, he is there right now in United Nations for discussion of these things, which atrocities and brutalities these Jews are doing. Imagine what kind of people are these. They are killing little children, infants, babies, and they get rid of that. They said it's okay for us. Whatever the other party is doing towards them, that's not the discussion. Then in return, how can you justify killing little babies? This is what happens when you learn from your Bible. You see, our people don't know. They never read Bible. It's in their Bible. It's written in their Bible. Take the hand, take the legs of the baby and hit their heads on the rocks, on the stones. This is what they say in their Bible. Kill the donkeys, kill women, children, everyone, nothing must be left with breath. Kill them all. Even the donkeys must not be spared. Book of Joshua, read it. Book of Numbers, chapter 31, read it. Kill people. Keep yourself virgins. They are, they are good for you. Rape them. Kill people. You see, I've made many lectures about atrocities, abnormalities, uh, absurdities, propensities in the Bible. I discussed this in detail and I have written down the book too. You can refer to the book and check. But this is the fitra. This is the nature of these people. One, this Samson, he can kill 300 people, he can 1000 people with the jawbone of a donkey. You are gone for good. You have nothing in this world. This is their mentality of these Jews. They didn't even spare prophets. They killed prophets. Jesus Christ said it. You kill prophets from righteous Abel to Zechariah, the son of Bacharias. The blood of the prophets will be upon your shoulders on the day of judgment. You Jews, you, you whited sepulchers. You adulterous and evil generation. You brutes and snakes. Who said it? Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 12, verse 38, 39, and 40. Many places he addressed this nation like that. Moses said to them, you stiff-necked people, since I liberated you from Pharaoh's bondage. Is it not written in your book of Deuteronomy, these statements? And what happened when the fifth, sixth book fall in Joshua, Yusha bin Nun, who was one of the disciples of Musa alayhi salam, and under his circumstances and his, his command, they went to Palestine. Now, ask, I'm asking you a question. Bani Umayyah ruled Spain for 700 years. Didn't they, should it be they claiming now to give them back because 700 years they ruled it? Justify that. Why only you have entitled to get your holy land back? Ah, because it's given by God. 
is given by God, we will see in the Bible. But on the political point of view, who gave you right to take this back? Why the Arabs shouldn't have the right to take, take Spain back, Hispania, where they ruled for 700 years? Give them back. See, you can't do, do like this. The only thing remains here, might is right. Twice armed is he who causes just. Thrice armed is he who gets in first. This is all because of this technology and weapons they are doing this. It's not because of justice and ruling. They know it very well. Our small little Palestinian boy is enough to fix you guys. Remove your weapons then see who has courage. Allah says in the Quran, Allah mentioned in the Quran about the fitra of Jews. Allah says when you confront them in the war with your real, you know, utmost, uh, uh, what you call enthusiasm, they will run away. They will run away. Like we have a saying in our Urdu, chana baje gana. when the P is hollow inside, it makes more sound, but it's hollow from inside. You know, P's, P-E-A-S. So this is what they, these are the nature. This only talk, talk, talk because of the weapons. So give them back. No, because they say, no, it's not our promised land. That's why. You see, this is hypocritic. Hey, this is hypocrisy, intellectual hypocrisy. Anyways, he went there and he took a, our foreign minister. He took interview with CNN. And beautifully said that the media is no more and she she knows what he's talking about the Jews control media I salute you sir for saying this on their faces that you these Jews they control media at least somebody said it and it's our country Pakistan Alhamdulillah we are proud of that we are proud of our these people the higher management and administration and at least they are on it 